the man who's recently run a time of 20.33, and that is rocket fast at 200 meters. It's a qualifying time for the Olympic Games. Welcome to Sport at 10. Um, 18 years of age, grade 11. Tell me a little bit about that background. How are you balancing school with the running? Yo, well, it's really tough to balance school and the running because we wake up in the morning early to go to the gym, and then we have to go to school and we always have to concentrate because they're like they always say, education comes first before sport. But do you believe that? I mean, <laughs> if you are right now on the rankings, the fastest 18-year-old in the world, uh, maybe we need to put the books aside. You can never put the books aside because in sport, it's never a guarantee because you might get an injury tomorrow or the day after that, and education you can have for the rest of your life. So what's the dream? I mean, what do you want to be one day? Because if you're behind the books and you're also a runner, what's the actual dream? When, you wait, when you're in the dreamland and then you wake up and then you think, I want to be. Well, my dream like, is one day when I want to wake up, I want to have an Olympic gold medal and be like, I actually made it in life. So That's the dream, dream is athletics. The dream is athletics. The books are just for show. Yeah. Because mom says, Ish, I must, uh, I must also have books. Not really, not just for show, but just to take care of myself after my sporting career. Do you think you'll go to the Olympic Games this time around? I mean, you've run the times, but it's still up in the air whether Sascock will say, yes, you get to go. Yeah, well, my coach always told me that I have a job to do, and my job is to go out there and run the qualifying time, and then Sascock also have a job to do, to select the best athletes. Now, <laughs> you're also up against some strong local competition. <laughs> TT is there. We've also got Anaso Jobodwana, who came third at the World Championships, just behind Usain and Gatlin. These are the guys that are standing in the way of you becoming the number one at the 200 meters. Are you at that level yet? Well, I ran against Titi this past weekend, and I won against Titi. So Anaso, he just he didn't come this weekend. So Mega Saba win. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say that, but I'll, I'll love, I would love to race against him later on. Have you never run against Anaso? I've never raced against Anaso. What do you think would happen? If you're now visualizing it, tell me. Because we really, we have an idea, right? I mean, I used to do a little bit of running. You sometimes look across and you say, hey, my long at <laughs> long at long shear. What is your view when it comes head to head against uh, the number one right now in South Africa, Anaso Jobodwana at 200 meters? Well, you can, never fear, you can never fear a human being because we're all the same. So I just go into that race the same way as I went into the race last weekend and just hope for the best. Now, how disappointed were you last year? Because six times you ran a time that was enough to take you to the Youth World Championships. But they didn't take you. Uh, it was a setback. I was disappointed because I ran the qualifying time more than any youth athlete in South Africa, and they didn't select me. Not six times you ran the right time, you were the guy. Well, and then Maba explain about team. They told her, they first made an excuse that no, uh, I, didn't, I should have ran the SA Junior Champs. And then later on, my coach asked them again. They told him that they don't have enough money. So that's the bottom line? Yes, that's the bottom line. You couldn't go because you got ego. Yeah. And the, how did you feel? I felt like giving up. I felt like ah, it was the end. I don't want to do this anymore because even though I qualified, they still left me behind. So I was like, it was the end of me. So that could happen this time with the Olympic Games. I mean, you've run the qualifying time. It doesn't mean that uh, Athletic South Africa and Team SA are going to say, pack your bags, let's go to Rio. But I did what they actually wanted. I hit the qualifying standard three times. I also won SC Senior Champs. So there's no way they can leave me. You sh this time? There's no we way are in Rio. Leave. There's no way they can leave me. <laughs> it doesn't, you're not leaving any space for disappointment. No. I'm a bit worried about that, though, because there will be people left behind. Some good athletes will be left behind, but... You just have to work harder for the next one. It won't be you. I would, don't be me this time. There's also an opportunity to go to Poland in July. There is a, well, I, 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 before <laughs> the chance for the Olympic Games comes, in Tangazako, they are getting together in Poland. What's that? The IWF World Under 20, yeah, yeah, it's in Poland. We, they, we were to qualify at Germiston, which I did, which I won, 20.36. And then we just, we're just waiting for the official team to come out around about two weeks' time or this week. Then we'll see what the team says. So, if you have a choice, Poland or Rio? Poland. How? You just told me you're going to Rio, now you're saying you'd rather go to Poland. I'm confused. No, the thing is, the thing is I'm still a junior athlete. Poland is, was always the main goal. The Rio, the Rio Olympic Games will just be a bonus. So if It'll you get to go to the under-20 IAAF in Poland in July and represent us there, Omnand. Yeah, I'm happy.
I'm happy. I can't wait to see you do what you're promising to do, man. You're doing <laughs> great work. I, uh, I love what you're doing. And the work that's happening at Tuck Sport with you, and you even go to school through Tuck Sport, right? Yeah, they have a school. Yeah, they have a school. So high performance, Nescolo. Yeah. Ah, it's amazing. <laughs> there he is. You've met him. Clarence Munyai, the 18-year-old, is taking the world by storm. He's running away from everybody in the 200 meters. Appreciate that you came to see us. South Africa is going to get big things from you. I can see it in your eyes. Thank you for having me. Ah, it's a pleasure. Shop.